<laughs> Good morning, drivers. I hope and pray you are ready for this day the Lord has made. Whether it be good or bad, amen, it is a day the Lord has made. Hey, I hope you're having a good day. I want y'all to get your Bible out. I'm going to share something with you real quick this morning. And uh, hopefully it'll help you to get through this day with a smile on your face and a shout in your mouth. Amen. Praising the Lord because he is good. He is worthy to be praised. And he will take care of his people. Amen. Y'all share. Let everybody know we're fixing to go live on the internet. Amen. God's given us a road map to follow. He's detailed every path in his own hand. He wants to steer us down the straight and narrow. And got us still, we reach the promised land. I'm in it for the long haul with Jesus. Detouring round those side streets of sin. I'm in it for the long haul with Jesus. Trucking down the highway for him. Don't go another mile without Jesus. You never know what lies around the bend. You can't speed by everything but the judgment. Slow down and have a little talk with him. I'm in it for the long haul with Jesus. He turned around those side streets of sin. I'm in it for the long haul with Jesus. Trucking down the highway for me. I'm in it for the long haul with Jesus. He turned around those side streets of sin. I'm in it for the long haul with Jesus. Trucking down the highway for me. Trucking down the highway for me. Amen. We must remember we are trucking down the highway for Jesus. Amen. We are ambassadors for Christ. That means we let our light shine for Jesus no matter how things are going in our world. Amen. I hope and pray again you are having a good day. It's good to see you all on here this morning. Oh, it's, yeah, it's getting pretty early. Hey, Amen. Feel early for them folks I left over in Arizona. <laughs> hey, I want to I wanna share something with you this morning. And uh, I'll be short because I'm, uh, I'm headed to the shop. I'm about uh, 10 miles from the shop in Wichita Falls. I put my brand new motor in here last year, last September. And my brand new motor is blowing all everywhere. I put about, uh, let's see, one, two. And just a little over 900 miles, I put eight gallons of oil in it. So it's coming out pretty quick. Amen. And uh, I hope it's just a blow the gasket somewhere, not just blowing oil out, blow by or something. But anyway, it has gotten really bad for 15,000 miles on my big old Cummins motor. That ain't too good. I used to joke about them old Cummins, you know, and coming apart. And we say all them little slogans. Because I, I had them caterpillars. But uh, anyway, that's what it is. So I want to share something with you this morning. Let me just encourage you. If you need to talk with someone uh, anytime, day or night, please don't hesitate to call our prayer line at 1-800-248-8662. And uh, I want to encourage you to continue to pray for one for another. Uh, keep Brother Lee in your prayers. He's not up jogging yet. Uh, I guess he's still laying that on the beach, huh, brother? Uh, but... Uh, 
he's he's doing better praise the lord and uh y'all pray one for another pray for us uh we got a lot of things to do over the next uh <clears throat> several weeks about three or four weeks gonna be real busy from here to georgia and <clears throat> maryland and around and uh back close to home so i don't need this thing broke down i need it going amen y'all know what that's like so uh let's go to the lord in prayer and open our hearts and minds up to the lord and his word that we might be receptive, that we might be able to shout the victory no matter how bad it looks with our physical eyes. Amen. Because God is in control. Let's go to him in prayer together. Heavenly Father, I do want to thank you, Lord, for your goodness, Lord, and your mercy. Thank you for loving us. Thank you, Lord, for loving us while we're yet sinners. And I ask you again, Lord, to help me not to ever get over that, not to forget what you've done for me, Lord. And Father, I just come ask you to forgive me of my sins and my failures, Lord. Forgive me, Lord, for the times that I've gotten in the flesh and just, uh, Lord, just had a big old pity party. And I just ask you, Father God, that you would just uh, help me and help all of us, Lord, that we would be uh, obedient to you, Lord, but we would have a smile on our face, Lord, when we're going through this life, that we might share your goodness with others, Lord, and what you've done for us. So I pray, Lord, again, that you would keep the drivers safe on the road, up and down the highways, Lord, and as they miss their families, Lord, I just ask you to uh, work in their lives, Father, that everything they do will truly bring your honor and glory. And I just ask you, Father, to help us always let our light shine and be ambassadors for you. We are missionaries on the highway, Lord, and may we never forget that. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I want to share something with you in Psalms uh, 107. Psalms 107, you ought to just read the whole Psalm, but it <clears throat> mentions about five times about God taking you out of your trouble. And uh, and it, in verse 2, it says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of, of the enemy. <clears throat> we are the redeemed of the Lord. Amen. We are his people. So we ought to be the ones saying so. We ought to be the ones shouting the victory. And uh, <clears throat> verse 6, he says, Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distress. Now they was wandering around in the wilderness. And they had troubles. And we are wandering around in the wilderness, so to speak. We are out here in the world, and uh, we're going to have troubles. The Bible says it rains on the just and the unjust. And uh, the difference is how we as the redeemed handle those situations when it rains a little too hard. Amen. And <clears throat> so it says that they cried unto the Lord. And when they cried unto the Lord, he delivered them out of their distresses. And if you drop down to about verse uh, <clears throat> Oh, let me see. About verse 13, he says, Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their <laughs> distresses. And uh, it, it has a uh, an idea of being set free. So you can be set free in the midst of your trials and troubles and tribulations if you just trust the Lord. Uh, there's a difference in, like Paul said, of being content in whatsoever state you're in. Whether you things are going good and that old motor's purring real good or it's not, amen, uh, you can uh, praise the Lord because it is the day he has made. He's made all the days. And some days we like better than other days, but God has made them all. So uh, we have reason to worship him, praise him all the time. You know, we, uh, we, we should thank the Lord. And the Bible says to enter to his gates with praise and thanksgiving, and we should thank him. Man, we have so much to thank him for. Lots of things. We could go down the list. Lord, thank you for your blessings on me, my wife, my health, my truck, my house, my children, my grandchildren. I got shoes on my feet. Matter of fact, I got two or three pairs of shoes, a couple of pair of boots. Amen. Some people don't have that. We have a lot to thank the Lord for. But <clears throat> the Bible talks about praising the Lord, and we ought to praise the Lord, worship him for who he is. Not for what he's given you, but for what he, not not just for what he's done for you, but for just simply who he is. See, it doesn't matter if those bad days come your way. If, if your motor blows up, he's still the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen. No matter what's going on in your life, he is still in control and he is still king of kings. And it's, it's just something that uh, really hit me pretty hard yesterday, I guess you could say, that... Uh, <clears throat> No matter what happens, no matter what happens to me personally, God is still God. Even if I don't praise him, he's still God. If I make lots of money today, I, 
he's still God. If I go flat broke today, he's still God. It doesn't matter what happens to me or what I do. It doesn't change who he is. And uh, so we ought to praise him and praise him for who he is, not just thank him for the things that he's blessed us with. And I think we should do that. But there's a different mindset whenever you realize he is God. He is King of Kings, Lord of Lords. He is the, I mean, the creator of it all. And we worship and praise him because of who he is, not because of what he's given us, though he's given us many wonderful things. Uh, if you have, I mean, no other reason you can thank him for your salvation. Amen. So I just want to encourage you today that when you're in trouble and you're in distress, to call out to the Lord, to cry out to the Lord, to pray, seek him and his word and his will. And I want to just leave you with this because, see, these things happen in life. We hit a little low. We go down in the valley. You know, I talk all the time about life is like a highway. So I like this song that Brother Brad sings about the road map, <clears throat> been in the long haul <clears throat> with Jesus. Because he's talking about detouring around sin and different things that come up in life. And for us, as God's children, we need to just keep worshiping him, praising him, thanking him. But I want to have a smile on my face. I don't want to go around with an old sour face. You ever seen these people that call themselves Christian? I mean, they got a face so long it costs them 50 bucks to get a shave. I mean, they just, uh, what what is down in the mouth about everything? And what I want to share with you is that I, I'm not always just, on a high, but I don't stay down long, not because of me personally, but because of the, the God in me, Jesus in me, the Holy Spirit lifting me up and, and pulling me up out of my horrible pit, Jesus pulling me up out of my distress. And one of the things that has helped me is to realize, stay in the Word of God, and when you read the Word of God, accept the Word of God as truth, and He will see you through. And, and even in this in ministry especially, there's things I'm like, okay, God, I, I know you wanted me to do this. I know you led me in this direction. Now I'm having all these troubles. And I want to share something real quickly with you. I could preach on this for an hour easily. But in Mark chapter 4, uh, this is where Jesus stills the storm. He, he calms the waves. And most of you know the story, the story. But what I want you to see out of this is in Mark chapter 4, verse 35, it says, let us go over to the other side. This is what Jesus said. Let us pass over to the other side. So he told his disciples, come on, let's go. Get in the boat. Let's go. And they got in the boat. Jesus takes a power nap. Big storm comes up, scares them to death. They're freaked out. And then they're crying out to God, crying out to Jesus. Don't you even care? Man, we're going to perish here. And as you know, Jesus just gets up, speaks a word, calms the storm, and boof, it's gone. Amen. But then if you keep reading on down and you get to the to the last thing, because, you know, he talks about them not having faith, being fearful. And we don't need to be fearful. We are to be faithful. Amen. Full of faith. But when you get to verse five, I mean, chapter five, verse one, it says, and they came over onto the other side of the sea into the country of the gatherings. And let me just real briefly tell you how life works for us as Christians. God says, OK, go do this, go do that. Whatever it is, you're you're doing your job, and you're to be disi making disciples no matter where you're at, whatever you're doing, we have a job to do. All of us have a job to do uh, <clears throat> as believers in Christ. So he says, come on, let's go, and, and you go. And then some rough things happen, and you get all down in the mouth about it. But see, when they got over there on the other side, when you read chapter 5, that's where this man was, was demon-possessed, and they faced the devil. And they needed to be strong. They needed to they needed to know that God was was real in their life and that he could handle the, the problems in the situation. And so now they face this man who's full of legions, a legion of demons. And uh, they face that, but I believe because they just saw what he had done. I'm sure it was a little nerve-wracking, a little scary, so to speak. If you've ever had any dealings with demonic activity, and I have, and it is... It's, it's unnerving. But they had just seen Jesus speak to the wind and the sea and just boom. I mean, yesterday I, I thought of this and I said, Lord, I wish you'd just stop the wind. The wind's blowing so bad out here and I put so much oil in this thing. I couldn't even hardly pour my oil in. I pour my oil in, the wind's blowing, blowing my oil all over, which didn't matter. There's oil everywhere anyway. But <clears throat> the wind was blowing and I wanted it to stop. Jesus can stop the wind. Jesus can calm the storm. Jesus can make the waves quit being so high. <laughs> he can make them go away. And 
we go through trials and tribulations, ups and downs in life to increase our faith. Part of that journey is it increases our faith because God has saw you through this. God has helped you in this situation. And and God has helped me in some past situations that I, I know it's going to be all right. I get aggravated, yes, but I know it's going to be all right. And I want to encourage you, driver, that you trust the Lord. And he said, let's go to the other side. That's what he means. We're going to go to the other side. And it's going to be all right. Amen. And we shall arise. And I want to play a song for you. It's called, We Shall, I Shall Arise. And it's because I was thinking about Easter and <clears throat> and Jesus conquering death, hell in the grave. And, and, he, and he, he defeated death. He walked out of, come out of the grave. Hallelujah. No matter what happens, we're going to come out victorious. In this life and the next, we're going to be victorious people because of Jesus Christ. So I want you to listen to the words of this song. And I want you to know that whenever you have those bad days, when you kind of go down in those little dips in life, when you get down, bogged down a little bit, <clears throat> turn to Jesus, cry out to him in your trouble, cry out to him in your distress, and you shall arise again, and you shall give him praise, you shall give him glory, let your light shine, tell somebody about Jesus. Amen. Because he is worthy to be praised. And I tell you what, to just share what he's done for us. I hope praise done something for you lately. Amen. He has. Problem is sometimes we don't recognize it. And I want to encourage you to recognize it. To have an awareness of how good God is to you. And what he's done for you. Maybe that's why I had to have this tremendously awful bad old lake. Amen. Amen. Y'all listen to this song. Man, it's a good one. I shall arise. Amen. We will. There's a scripture in the Bible. It's so good to me. And oftentimes I read it. I need victory, and when I have fallen, devil, you just understand, I won't be down long, I'll get up again, when I fall, I shall rise, cause you will hear me when to him I cry oh I refuse to lay down stay down till I die when I fall I shall arise <laughs> There is a day of coming, the Bible tells me so, that those who sleep in Jesus will hear a trumpet blow. Well, it makes no difference if I'm dead or alive. When I hear that trumpet, I'm gonna rise. And when I fall, I shall rise. Call Jesus will hear me when to him I cry. Oh, I refuse to lay down. Stay down till I die. When I fall, I shall arise. Oh, I refuse to lay down. Stay down till I die. When I fall, I shall arise. When we fall, we 
shall arise. We won't stay down long. Amen. Don't you forget that, driver. You tell somebody about Jesus today. We are ambassadors for Christ. Shout the victory. Run the devil off in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, Brother Wayne. Good to see you on here. I got to go. Y'all pray that this oil leak is just a little leak. Amen. I'll be back on the road in a day or two. No problem. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. Drivers, tell somebody about Jesus and how good he is. Amen. Y'all keep that shiny side up, my rubber side down, but hammer down every time you get a chance. Love you guys. I'll let you know tomorrow what I find out. Be safe out there.